So this virus has slowly spread around the world and caused an outbreak in Brazil beginning in about May of 2015. And what they noticed in Brazil is as this outbreak of Zika virus began to take off, there was a sudden and dramatic increase in children born with a congenital condition called microcephaly. The connection between Zika and microcephaly is still very tenuous, and exactly how Zika might be causing microcephaly is not clear. However, the epidemiology in Brazil does suggest that the risk is greater in the first trimester of pregnancy, and there have been situations where Zika virus itself has been recovered from infants born with microcephaly. But there's a lot that we don't know about this at this point. The real concern is if it turns out that it really is associated with congenital birth defects, ultimately we might need a vaccine for it. There's no real person-to-person -person transmission. The first thing that happens is a susceptible person is bitten by a mosquito that's infected with Zika virus, and that virus is then introduced into that person. After somewhere between two and 10 days, there's enough virus replicating to cause the illness. About four out of five people never have any symptoms, but in the person who does have symptoms, that illness would be a fever, a lot of muscle and joint aching, a rash, and possibly some irritation of the eyes. For the next four or five days after the symptoms begin, the virus is present in the blood and could be picked up by another mosquito if it bit that person while they were having Zika virus in their blood. In the mosquito, the virus continues to replicate, and after about 10 days, there's enough virus in the mosquito for it to be able to transmit Zika virus to another person if it bites that person. So far, it looks like Zika virus can only be transmitted by a kind of mosquito called an Aedes mosquito. And there are mosquitoes in the United States that would have the potential to transmit Zika virus. So far, those mosquitoes are not known to live in New York State. So we would not expect to see transmission in New York State by those mosquitoes. Women who are pregnant or might be considering becoming pregnant should avoid travel to areas where Zika virus is being transmitted. And if they do have to travel to those countries, they should take precautions to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes, using effective insect repellents, wearing clothing that covers the arms and legs, treating clothing with insect repellents, and sleeping indoors in areas that either have screens or air conditioning to avoid insect bites.